Hi, my name is Pixelmist, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a new clothing piece. It will be a chest piece uh, for our Stormtrooper ammo, for this Eastern Long character. And uh, if you're wondering where to get uh, models and everything like that, you can find them in the internet. Just uh, make sure that you have watched the first uh, part, because it will be much more easier for you to understand what is happening if you will watch the first part. And second part, because, well, those parts are much more easier. So it will be like step by step for you. Okay, um, so um, if you want to support me, just uh, Subscribe to my channel and you can subscribe to me on the pixel mist or donate if you want to I mean on the boosty. Yeah uh, Here I upload the same videos uh, I Write something uh, And here you can buy uh, Some of the mods that I have already created uh, For public use. I mean, I usually work with the uh, private mods so people Ask me to do something, I, I, I make it, and then I sell it to them. Uh, but there are some uh, cheap, uh, cheap because it, uh, it's cheap, not because it's bad mods. For example, guns and ammo vests, uh, armor plates, and uh, other clothing here. You can check it out uh, on my plus t dot, dot to. Okay, so. Let's start. Um, now we need the 3D model for that. So let's go to the 3D models and get it out. Also, we need the textures. So we are going to do the body. So, yeah, we are going to do the body. So, wait a second. Need to create a chest piece so over here. So let's make chest. Okay, great. And let's throw in. Here we go. Stone trooper sets textures. Uh, hands, hands, yeah, 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 body. And. Over here, that will be data. Now, uh, this is going to be a long one. I'm speaking about that. How much time will it take for us to make something like this? And uh, so let's start with uh, copying some of the game files. I mean, using it as, as a reference. So let's go over here, characters, uh, tops. And I think that Bomber jacket will do the thing, but maybe something even better. Okay. Uh, let it be the Gork, I guess. No, Firefighter, yeah. It's, it's a little bit... better. For reference, okay. Uh, let's get back over here chest and put it right over here so next thing we need to go and create the model config and we need to <coughs> copy that from already existing models for that we are going to use the eliteness on the p drive star wars pack Characters, Imperial, Stormtrooper, Regular, Chest Piece, and Firefighter, Firefighter over here. Just copying it. There's no need to create some, some, something else for female version because they will use the same skeleton. So that's it. Just for now, at least. 
now let's unpack our um, models. Don't worry, as usual, you will get the unpacked version of exist of uh, our mod. So and rename because I hate when it says a lot because I already knew know that. Okay, so now this is going to be the <coughs> stormtrooper chest piece mail. And stormtrooper chest piece ground and stormtrooper chest piece female. Okay. It doesn't matter how you name them. Uh, so, <clears throat> now next thing, uh, we need to go to the blender. Because if you watch the first video, you can remember that uh, in this uh, particular model, we have some poses. And we don't need those poses, okay? So, FBX, P drive, oh. Okay. Here we go, and let's delete the pause. So this is our ammo. Now we are going to export it the same to the same place. Maybe maybe more. Yeah. Let's just keep it untitled, okay? That's fine. <coughs> so, is it working? Yeah, here we go. So, <coughs> I'm sorry. Next thing we are going to do uh, is we need to open the mail version. Delete the second battle D. <coughs> uh, open another object builder and import over here the fbx file of our chest piece the untitled one okay now as i remember it should be like even bigger no that's too much even even less okay Here we go. I'm copying it. Then I'm gonna paste it right over here. And I'm gonna rotate it. So it will match it. And as I can see, maybe not, maybe yeah. Maybe it will be much more easier than usual to port it. Okay. So looks like <coughs> looks like uh yeah. They're almost identical in the scale. Anyways, we need to get rid of the uh, our legs right over here because we're going to do them later, okay? And I think that we don't need this too, but if it doesn't want to... Uh, okay, then we are going to leave it like this. I'm just wondering how it's going to look like if we are still using that. Okay. So, let's figure it out a little bit. This is, uh, looks like uh, we need to create additional clothing, just a texture inside of the game itself. If we pick this, no, not this. The, uh, okay, so the pants uh, will be like these armor pieces, and that's it. With the knee, of course. Uh, 
so it will be like a real armor. I like it even more. That's because uh, we are going to delete the um, underwear of the armor right over here. As you can see, I have deleted. Uh, it will be much more better if we do that. Because uh, we will be able to see the clothing underneath all the character when we do such a thing. And it will be like extremely cool thing to do. Extr extremely cool feature. Okay, delete this too. And it's the same thing about the um, clothes because uh, we're gonna need to create them separately. <clears throat> okay, that's fine. Uh, so this is our clothing piece, and let's save so we don't lose the progress. We don't need this one, and let's go to the tools. We need our DZ rig blend. Uh, I'm gonna drop it right now, right in the chest piece. And another thing we need is uh, female and male. Uh, characters so let's open the male character to check if we are okay with the scale of our armor because we don't need we don't want to overlap something <clears throat> you know what I just remember that uh, no everything is fine everything is fine we are going to use our uh, armor as a uh, chest piece, like uh, instead of the bulletproof vest, so it will be visible what you have under the uh, under that armor. Okay, let's copy it, paste it right over here, and looks like it's almost fine. We need just a little bit of adjustment, just to make sure. So yeah, it must be a little bit bigger. Even more because we are going to have some no, not 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 bigger. Not in this type of bigger. So uh we don't want to scale it on the Z. We want to scale it on the uh chest because oh, that will help us to combine it with the um, different clothing pieces underneath. So <clears throat> yeah, let's do that. And doing that, you can do that by choosing to scale it on X value. So let, let's, let's take a look. Is it right one? No, it's it's wrong one. On Y? No. So it must be on Z. Okay. That's fine. Additional 10% will give us more space. We might change it a little bit later. But for now it's okay, I guess. And also we need to make it bigger anyways. Just a little bit. Yeah, just like this. Okay, <clears throat> now I'll uh, cut it out over here and paste it right over here so we are able to move these armor pieces uh, the way we need it. And uh, I really like that we don't need to actually uh, care about any of the... Well, how do you call it? Wait. of the folds uh, because it is like a, some sort of a plastic material so it doesn't have any folds and we can just freely uh, move our armor pieces and it will look great so uh, let's do this
Great. I don't need, I need to make it this way, so I don't see any of the yellow lines when I'm uh, moving the camera around, because um, that means that I'm going to see some of the, I'm going to see some of the human character. So, as you can see, we can just make it a little bit bigger, it's, it's not uh, something a bad idea. It's, it's not a bad idea, um, but we need to make sure that we did everything we could so not to make it bigger, okay? Because different games, different people, uh, inside of the DayZ standalone, characters are, they, they might be a little bit more thicker or something like that. So, maybe like this. Even more. Okay, I don't want to make it bigger anymore because it feels ridiculous to me. So I'm going to make it bigger on the on this value, right? No, that's wrong. On this one? No, that's wrong. So on this one. Yeah. So I'm going to make it like 10% bigger and on this value too. No, not, not on this, exactly not on this, on this one. Damn it. No. Uh, that's too much. Okay. Must be somewhere right here. And yeah, need to rotate it, I think. Because this is like the inner section of its arms. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to try this again. Let me see that. Here we go. Ah, oh, no, it's not like this. So here we go, I think, with the additional 10% of thickness, uh, we managed to successfully locate the uh, this part of the clothing, so we're going to delete it, yeah, I'll put it right over here. So next piece, uh, we, we are going to use that one, I guess, right? Uh, is this, uh, yeah, is armor, so we're not going to get rid of it. Uh, wait, we don't need this anymore. For now, we don't need this. Uh, so, let's take this one too. 
delete it. Okay. I guess we don't need that shit. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna pause the video. Okay, so I've done this uh, behind the scenes. I've moved all the clothing pieces as uh, the way you sew it with uh, this ammo piece. So just dragging, scaling it up to 10% more and everything like that. And we've got this uh, result. So nothing is sticking out. Uh, looks neat, at least for now. Great. So now what we do is we need to extract that. I mean export as before uh, before bl blender uh, storm trooper chest piece save this this only current LOD okay so now let's go over here we should see it right over here here we go. Okay, what's next? We need to go to the blender now. So, uh, here's the blender. Now we need to go to the um, Daisy Rig. Right over here and drop it right here. And general layout. Now we need to uh, file import fbx before blender stormtrooper chest piece. Here we go, here it is. We just need to make it uh, the right scale. Here we go. So next thing we need to transfer weights uh, within these two items. Human and the chair and the armor so next thing we're going to do is we need to first of all make it in the rest position then uh, i should click you should click a uh, person then uh, the item itself go to the weight paint weights transfer weights transfer mesh data and source layer selected by name as you can see, it became blue. Uh, that means that it was a success. And now we need to click on our item again, go to the modifiers and add armature, and it should be a daisy rig. Uh, you don't need to press apply over here because it is already working. Now you need to delete uh, the guy itself and you need to export it as FBX uh, and after blender stone, stone trooper chest piece okay here we go <coughs> great so next thing we need to do okay okay let's go uh, sorry for the call um, so now we need to uh, okay uh, save for now. Now we need to go to the STCM, the uh, male version. Okay, to the second level D, delete everything over here, and now we are going to paste right over here our um, after blender. Uh, Okay, that's too, too big after blender uh, model because it will now have all the bones that our character should have in the Z standalone. Okay, just copy everything that is red. It will be automatically red. Paste it right over here. So here we go. That's almost it. Now, uh, look. There is such thing as face, cheeks, and everything like that. We want to delete this because this is basically a face expressions. And if you are talking in game, they will move. 
those bones and you don't want your clothing to move be, uh, just because uh, of the uh, of sh so, so just delete them okay because you don't want them to be active on your clothing you don't want your clothing to being dependent on are you talking or not because if I'm wearing a scarf and when I'm talking, my scarf doesn't move. It's not moving because my cheek is moving. Okay, so that's logic. So else we need to check all other things right over here. So neck is fine. Spines. Well, uh, there is nothing that can be wrong, I guess, and I'm almost happy with that. So now. Uh, you need to save it. Okay. Next thing, we, next thing we are going to do is uh, we need to make textures for it and config. So let's start with the textures. This is my favorite part. Um, we need to run the Photoshop now. And this is our base color, isn't it? Yeah. And it's transparent, so we will need to work on this. Okay. I guess we need the white background here. Yeah, that's exactly what we need. And next thing we're going to do is merge everything over here and open all other <clears throat> textures. We don't need. Uh, I, okay, what is this? This is just a blank image. Delete it. And there is two normal maps. Let's take the left right brightest one because this is looks like it's the usual one right mm -hmm. delete now let's open everything else what we have here we don't need to open wait What is that? That's a detail, some sort of detail map. Didn't know that you can see such things on the armor of the clones or stormtroopers, and it makes my eyes uh, feel pain. Okay. Uh, we'll just stick with that one. Um, we don't need this, so let's open it. Let's start with the normal web, okay? So uh, we need to just invert the blue channel. So here we go, there is our normal map in the blue coloring. And we're going to name it Stormtroom Chest Piece NOHQ. Save. Now close. Now. Okay, what is this? It's something about light, I guess. Okay, I need the blue one. I'm going to paste everywhere it now. Yeah. Save us. AS. Okay, and now I'm going to copy it and paste it right over here. Okay, 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 okay. Now this is not a really good sign. But we can just uh, 
Okay. Like that. Isn't it better to take a look? Much more details. Except uh, this one is getting, uh, you know, it's much more smaller to fix that. We can go to enhance IO. And to do that, I need to go um, right over here and open my VPN. Okay, great. Okay, what is that? It's not working anymore. Uh, let me let me take a look. Okay, everything is fine. Don't worry. So uh, we saved it right over here. So just drag and drop over here. Uh, this must be a photo. I don't want it to enhance anything, but resolution. So start processing and. And here we go. Let's download it right now. Done. So I don't need my VPN anymore. Okay, take a look. Now, now it looks like much more better. So we can actually test it. So, try to tell the difference. The uh, high resolution, lower resolution. Uh, at least I can see that. So, yeah, uh, let's delete the lower resolution and save. Save it as base color. It's not the base color anymore since we done something to it, but okay. That will do. Okay, don't need this. Don't need this anymore. Uh, no, actually we need this. Uh, we need to create the same guy texture. So we need to go black and white on this picture and we need to open our older SMDI texture characters, imperial, stormtroop, regular helmet, data and there must be yeah here we go so we need to try to match it right over here because um, Oh wait. Kind of. Oh no, don't touch it. Kind of this. Now what do you think? So this and this. 
looks identical to me, so congratulations to myself. Save. And this is going to be a SMBI. Okay. We don't need Photoshop anymore, except if we want to uh, draw something, something, but that's not not for now. Okay, uh, let's go and uh, we need to copy all the materials over here because we want it to be this exactly the same. Okay, so proper regular uh, chest piece. And uh, drop it right into the data. And now let's manage it right over here. So uh, first of all, we need to create PA files. To do that, uh, let's open the text view and just save everything in PA. A base color now. Oh my god, okay, and AS. Let me take a look at the AS. Kind of, okay. So now uh, let's go with the normal map first. Shift, right click, copy as path. And re oh my, what did I do? And replace it. Okay. Now, let's do it everywhere first. And actually, by doing this, I will it do much more easier for me. Save. Now, same thing with the SMDI texture. Okay, save everywhere. And now, same thing with the AS texture. We, should, we just showed what is right here. We can always delete it if something goes wrong. But I'm pretty sure everything will be all right. No, thank you. Maybe next time when I will be extremely rich to buy the price you ask me. Uh, so now we need to go to the config and find what um, on which we are no, it, it's not going to be the ba yeah. I did something wrong. I mean, exactly. I don't want to use the this config because we are using no, we are making it as a um, west, so we need to take the west one. So here we go, plate carrier will be okay. Let's delete everything else. Class, plate carrier west, and that will be based off it. And now we are going to name it uh, as Star Wars spec, and I need to take a look how I named the helmet. 
Imperial Stone Trooper. Okay. Imperial Storm Trooper Helmet? No, that's a chest. Okay, chest, just chest. Base color. And now I'm going to create another. No, now I created the wrong, uh, the other way. Create like this. Chest. Okay, and here I need to actually fix something like this. And let me take a look. It's just HPC. Okay, save. And right over here to the same thing. Oh, that's a bad idea. That, oh, okay, that's fine. A hidden selection textures. Um, yeah, so over here I need to find hidden selection textures. They are known, so I'm going to uh, do it later. So first of all, this is going to have no attachment at all, at least for now. Wait. Uh, that's fine, about 12 kilograms, I think so. Um, I, I'm pretty sure it cannot be wet, as well as the uh, helmet, by the way. Because it's some sort of a plastic. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's add a hidden selection. Okay. Rename it. Descri uh, description. Okay. Now, uh, we gonna find. Oh no 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 no. So, the male version over here. We're just gonna, for the test purpose, use male version instead instead of on ground version, because this is the only version uh, that is ready for now, and it's going to be used for females too. Okay. So next thing. That's too much if we are going to make it unpenetratable. Health. So projectile, it will save you like 99% from projectile damage. It, uh, I need to copy the same thing uh, from over here. Okay, 25 is a lot, I remember. So it will be 15. And the same armor class. You know what? I will make it like to the head, it will give 15% of the damage. Okay. Wait. Okay. So the melee. You can't really do something to me with the melee weapons when I'm inside of this suit. Except you can shock me. So like I will get hit. I will be like Oh, it's, it hurts so bad, the kinetic energy, but not that you have stopped me. Okay, and frag grenade? Well, that suit probably was created to save you from the frag grenade in the first place. 
as well as all other gear uh, in the military because it is made okay uh, to save you from fragmentation projectiles and I wanted to have the same sounds when you pick up something plastic like a model helmet okay uh, so next thing I'm going to do is I think that's it we can actually test it okay let's check one more thing um well config yeah we need to rename oh no here we go and also the female version and also the ground version without the skeleton Otherwise, when we do uh, hold it in our hands, uh, it will appear like we are wearing it. So let's back. Okay, we've got some sort of problem here. Okay. Just white, base color. What's the problem? Okay, I'll pack it again because I didn't re read it properly, okay. Undefined base class. What do you mean? I'm defining it. Okay, wait. I can close it. I can close this. I can close this as well. What is the problem? Maybe. Okay, let me figure it out. Okay, I couldn't figure out what's the problem, so I decided just to redo it from the start. That's what I usually do when I don't know where is the problem and I can't find it for at least five ten minutes. I if it if it doesn't make me redo all the work the whole day, I try to redo it as quick as possible. That's it. Just to not waste my time. And here it should be not 15, but 5%. And sound. Wait. Here we go, and we need to actually create a new two classes again. It, it should be a chest, and this, this should be a chest too. And this is a base color, so I shouldn't see it. Okay. and base color base color okay and selection um da, 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 da. here we go copy as path and this is okay for now now okay great uh we're done over here let's check about any problems everything is fine Okay, now we need to go to our 
model and we need to create uh, oh yeah okay great so we need to apply material for that come on and a texture Okay, the texture will be base color and the material, the M1. Okay, and now we need to create a color and redefine it, copy it and paste it everywhere. As well as here. Okay, great. Now, uh, the next thing, uh, we need to optimize it a little bit. Okay, that's too much a little bit, okay? Points merge near and about 5, okay? It will. It was two, twelve thousand. Now it's seven thousand, and it has almost the same detail. Merge near. That's eight thousand. So it's like staged. Now you can go further and further. Okay, view pile should be the best one. Actually, we can make this even worse. Okay. That will do. And yeah, of course, I forgot one thing about the health of it. Uh, so damaged. Uh, the damaged one will be under the 50%. And the destruction will appear two times. Uh, when it's almost ruined and when it's ruined of course too and we need to replace it right over here but rename it to uh, regular material save great now let's pack it am i recording yeah i am We are good to go. Okay, let's run our game now. Okay, here we go. So this is our armor. This is how it looks like. Except we need to fix this attachment. I'll just delete it. It will be much more easier. And we need to make our armor a little bit bigger because, um, as you can see, when we are running, everything is fine except biceps is showing up for some reason. And also, we need to check if we are lying down. Is there any? No, everything is fine. And we need to delete also this attachment because it will be a real attachment so you should put it right over here and also we need to make it bigger because as you can see even the slightest the tiniest uh, clothing cannot fit under this and this is bad so Uh, what else should I do? Uh, let's try just a t-shirt. 
as you can see. Same is same story. And maybe Where is okay? Okay. So let's do that. Let's go to the object builder. Drop it right over here. Let's create another one LD. And it will store our attachments until we uh, actually create them in game and then we will delete it okay uh right over here next thing is those attachments don't even know what are, what are those to me it is looking like um I can't even tell what it is. So this is not a necessary part, isn't it? So let's delete it because it will make it much more difficult for us to look it to look precious, okay? So okay, 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 okay. Stop saying okay. Um need to make it a little bit bigger. And a little bit bigger. Wait, no. All right, over here. Just to understand how much bigger we have became. Oh, this is a lot. Now, so we need to touch only Z value. Yeah, anyways, only Z value. And what's that? What's that? Okay, wait. What is this thing? Right over here. So, um, yeah, press N, go uh, almost to the left on the blue, solid area is maximum, uh, no, it's not, ma it doesn't matter, strength at the maximum, and do it over here, because, um, so, the warmer the color, the more it moves to the bone uh, it is attached to. As you can see right over here, it is attached to which bone? To some sort of a bone, I don't know. Left forearm? No way. No way. Left forearm. So it shouldn't it shouldn't be on the left forearm anyways. So let's delete it. Because it's like uh, legs, okay? left for our right which excuse me uh, 
right for um, show me where it was here we go right hit extra now this is fine right shoulder right right up leg okay I think I might delete it something so let's go back no that's fine that's fine that's fine that's fine that's fine select left for arm roll okay that was a mistake okay left hip extra fine let's let's uh, check every everything okay head okay left arm okay okay this is not okay no I don't want this to move sorry neck so we don't need the head then delete all melodies Okay. Okay. I think it's fine now. Save. Uh, now we're gonna test it, okay? Okay, this is how it looks like in game. Much more better. Uh, there is no uh, glitch over here but we can still see problem with the biceps and also there is another thing uh, when we run or crouch there is a glitch and I'll show you how to fix it shortly and yeah biceps and everything like that so let's go to object builder again so this happened because we have deleted the head bone and this means that right over here somewhere there if we put neck and neck there are some of the unused points so we need to use them and for example it's closer to the neck so I'm going to add it to the neck okay so we fixed that now next thing about the biceps uh, as you can see, when we do it something like this, it 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 goes through. Okay. So let's uh, analyze the bicep uh, armor piece over here. So when it comes to no, let's start with the right arm. When it comes to arms, the 
elbow. Okay. Honestly, I don't know. What we can do about it. Okay, I know what to do about this issue. Exactly what to do. And it's not used anymore anymore, so yeah, let's do it this way now. Right or more, really fine. Um get rid of it for time. So yeah, it's kind of mm -hmm. okay. I'll just make it all almost red. And hope it will do the job. Okay. And you know what? I will even try to fix it right over here. Damn it, what was that? Right arm? No. Right arm roll. Really okay, let's check it out. Okay, so I've spent some time uh, with fixing it by myself. So what I did, uh, as you can see, when we're when running, if you take a look at the back uh, on the spine, uh, the chest piece is not moving. It's not like uh, it, it acts like it is a real uh, bulletproof vest. So what I did. Uh, I deleted every single weight uh, on this clothing 
so when it comes to chest piece, the only thing that is affects on it are spines. So you can't find anything about chest piece on the arms and legs, as you can see. And right over here, uh, so I tried to keep it this way. So this is like uh, my shoulder cover, left sh or right, right shoulder cover. And I tried to stick it to the right arm and I deleted it from the right arm roll. So it sticks to only one uh, bone. So when I try to do something, it doesn't stretch or almost doesn't stretch. Uh, when I change my position, it just tries to follow the, uh, my, my character's shoulder. So it looks a, a lot more better. I don't know what to do with the... Uh, as you can see, when I'm starting running, the, the uh, armor of the shoulder, uh, it starts to go uh, in front. And that's why you can see through the... Uh, this item right so don't really know what to do with that for now but at least when you when you stay in place everything is fine except this so it's really easy to fix we need to go to the preview locate where is it or we can just cheat a little bit. We can just select the whole piece and make it a little bit bigger. Maybe no one will notice that. And actually we can move it a little bit in front because we needed it in front. Okay, save. Now copy it and paste everywhere. Great. So basically, we're almost done here, except, yeah, we need to make it uh, wider over here. I'm going to do that right now. And by the way, another way to... Uh, Test everything is by posing. Okay, sorry. Could you please do the same comment again? Okay. So. Okay. To understand. Okay. So I'm going to delete this elbow also and since i'm happy with the results i'm going to save it in the third one right over here uh okay where is elbow extra or something yeah so i'm going to delete it right over here i think that's fine Now left elbow extra, same thing.
Okay. Already defined. Save, copy, and paste everywhere. Uh, maybe something else I can fix here. Well, those buttons, uh, what effects on it? Okay, let's take a look. What is that? Okay, that's fine. Nothing really except, uh, so, could delete this from spine 2. <laughs> but I don't know how it's going to look like uh, if, if we are going to do that because this is basically the spine 2 uh, place so Let's experiment a little. Okay. Okay. Great. 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 Spine two already fine. Oh wait! Don't move anything. Save everywhere. I hope everything will be alright now. Okay, as you can see, we fixed over here. Uh, now it doesn't overlap or something. Now when it comes over here, we still need to fix those buttons on the top or whatever it is. So let's do this. Okay, let's take a uh, look. No, 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 don't touch it. Save. I'll see you later. Okay, so uh, here we go. Now, when we're running, Biceps, the biceps doesn't show through, doesn't go through, and if we pause, everything is fine and the buttons too, except it still need to be fixed right over here. So let's do that. So what exactly we need to fix? This piece, right? This put uh, you need to make it wider, at least like this one. Okay, so to do that, we are going just to select both of them and OK, 
Okay, great. So let's select everything else. The preview. Maybe less. No, oh, I think that's going to be fine. No, it's not going to be fine. Five percent is fine. Okay. Now let's copy it and test uh, in test again. So here we go. Uh, as you can see, I've managed to uh, massage, I'm gonna call it this way, uh, all the parts of the armor. So now nothing is sticking out. And I need to repaint this. And uh, uh, so this is how it looks like. And by the way, let's, let's spawn some gloves. Maybe that one will do. <laughs> oh my god. So, next thing uh, are going to be the legs armor. But before that, I'm going to make out of improvised clothing retexture for the combinaison, or I don't know what is underneath. Oh, oh I see. That's fine. Uh, what is underneath the armor piece, okay? So, uh, this is not all, anyways. Uh, we need also make the ground version of it, and you can make by yourself a female version of this costume, but personally, I'm not going to do that, at least for now, because that's a lot of work, or nothing because nobody plays as female in the existing loan. Trust my experience as uh, the existing loan uh, mod creator. Um, so next thing, thing, as I said, is basically this: the ground version of it. So, uh, yeah. Let's insert right over here. Now, now we are going to try to match. Okay. So, uh, first of all, uh, what I'm doing uh, is that it just looks like it's uh, it's what type of cotton piece is it is? I'm afraid I'm using the wrong one, but with that one, okay, it looks like no, it's not. It's not okay. It's not bad. Great. Then everything is fine, I guess. So let's move it up. No, not move it up. So uh, I want you to rotate it uh, 180 degrees. After that, we need to check if it was uh, inverted. Double you will fix that. Uh, let's go All right over here. Rotate a little bit, so it's kind of like this, lying on the floor. Now, we need to make it like, like interesting uh, to appear interesting, I mean. So, no clothing. And to appear interesting, it will be enough to. We can delete that part. 
you can just put that armor piece right over here we can rotate it and it has some sort of not deleted yeah piece of other armor so now we're going to rotate it like this shit like this and like this I really don't like when it comes to this but what can I do about it and now it's laying down on the ground like this and I want it to be like this this yeah and I'm going to leave this one I'm going to take this out, take this one out, put it on the floor at two, damn it, and that piece of armor too. But that one I want to put the other way, something like this, I guess. We can make it on the ground, so it will be looking like something like this lying on the ground, or we can make this appear right over here like it's together, all together. I'm going to put it right over here. Like this. Right here. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> there is no need for a lot of items. It's clear that uh, everything, when you put it, <laughs> it will be looking like a Clone, right? Uh, I mean, stormtroopers, so that's fine. Okay, um, that's it for it. Now, I'll delete everything over here, everything over here, and everything over here. And now we can start making it more optimized. Two thousand is fine. I'm afraid that this can be noticeable, so I'm going to take this, delete, and I'm going to degrade it less. So it's asked me about eleven. I'll give it zero seven. Yeah. Okay. Now the memory. This is a very important uh, part because here we decide how it's going to look like inside of our inventory. I want it to look like something like this. Uh, this is the first time I, I see a uh, tilted rectangle. Okay, uh, so we can you fix it. Uh, Okay, that's fine, I guess. Good geometry. Uh, 
if you don't remember, this defines uh, if we look in this rectangle, we can pick it up without uh, getting inside of the inventory. So, yeah, this rectangle and fire geometry is it will be damaged if you shoot it right over right over here somewhere. So I'm going to make it like this. this that's fine if they uh, when people will test it they will usually shoot the chest piece anyways no worries okay here we go that's it uh, now we need to go over here in the config section and I have already tested 15 is not that much you need like 20 thing. Okay, then next thing is we need to change it over here to G to the ground version and here to 20. So now I'm going to pack it and, do, and we will see the results, the amazing results. And I'll see you in a short. Okay, there is a small problem. Uh, it's standing up. When we hold it in in a hand, so everything is fine. Except um, it should be laying on the ground. Something like this. I'll show you how to fix it. I just want to take a look how it's going to look like. Okay. Yeah, I like it. So just put it on yourself and you're good to go. With the female version you can even put anything underneath. Great. Okay, let's do this then. Um, to do that, you can do it in two ways. Uh, first of all, uh, here in the config there are like rotation flags. No? Okay, sometimes you can find the rotation flags and by putting a specific number you can decide on which edge it's going to be and since we don't have anything over here and it was standing up I'll just rotate it 90 degrees with that and just like this and the same thing over here the same thing over here the same thing over here again and let's make it match need to also do the geometry yeah wait what was that uh, yeah geometry should be bigger By the way, we can we can fix that right over here. So why don't we? Okay. Mhm. Mm Memory 
everything 90 degrees and a little bit more right over here view geometry 90 degrees and let's make it bigger too pi geometry 90 degrees Okay, uh, let's make it bigger. That's fine. Save. Now, next thing uh, I'm going to do is that... Um, no, there's no need actually. So, uh, look... Um, There is such thing as uh, pi geometry inside of male character. I mean, uh, let me explain. So when we take a look at this B3D file, this is what we are wearing. Wait. So uh, this is what we are wearing. And there is no fire geometry, as you can see. They're just general geometry, and it must be empty, right? So, um, if we don't have fire geometry, I believe that uh, every single piece of it will become the fire geometry. So, there's like no need to do with that. And it usually worked, uh, so let's check if it's going to work. We can just uh, take a look at how much damage does players player gets from getting hit in the hand, and if it differs, then uh, it works the way it is, and there is no need for fire geometry. But if it's not, then we need it. Okay, so uh, the other, on, on the other hand, uh, on the other hand, uh, if uh, we go inside of the config, we can see that there is inventory slot, and maybe it decides to protect the player by inventory slot. This is the other option, and that means that we need to create our geometry. So let's check it out. So, uh, let's go over here. As you can see, we can, I uh, yeah, showed you that already. So, let's spawn the NPC. Oh, Boris. Two of them. No. Need them to be separate. Boris. And cuffs. Sorry, Boris. The next thing we need to do, oh, by the way, take a look how it looks like when we put it down. So, Boris, this is your armor now. Okay, and let's take. So this is like uh, 380 ACP. Um, let's take a look how much shots does it takes to kill him in the arm. So it was 20. 
21. Twenty-nine. So to be clear, Stop! Why are you hiding your arms? Claire, uh, okay, it, it, it was, I think, more, but it's intact, you know? So this is wrong. Yeah, it, it, it works on it works depending on the where is your located <laughs> the location of inventory slot yeah sorry a little bit tired Okay, then let's make it. Then let's make it. To do so, I'm going to use already existing uh, parts. So I'm going to the Delta gear that I have previously created. I'm going to take a look at the west, where is it, interceptor, and I'm going to take it right from here. No. So here we go. Just gonna copy it. No, not that. You're gonna copy. You know what? Actually, uh, just to make sure, I'm gonna take the characters west. No, no, police west. That's fine. Wait. Okay. Here we go. Okay, policeman well, West for some reason doesn't have our geometry too. That's trench. I guess this is old thing for DZ and they moved from it. Okay, let so here we go, um, there's a chest piece, this is how it looks like when we put it on, without nothing. So this is it, and I decided to put back this container or whatever it is, because I couldn't figure it out uh, fast enough. Do not get annoyed. Uh, where is the um, position on the texture of this black uh, color? So this is how it looks like. And also, yeah, I made uh, a geometry for that right over here. So 
so it should work. So that's it. For this video at least. Uh, and of course, if you want to support me, you can go to the pixel uh, mist boosty dot to right over here. You can find it in the description. There you can uh, subscribe on me. You can donate and everything like that. And don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel.